so it is particularly gratifying to see a way to engage people to read while they ride. Book clubs and discussions that actively engage our minds have always been important to libraries. They allow people to read a good book, have a shared experience with others, and get to know more of what the library has to offer. With the Read and Ride eBook Club, you can now check out electronic books from the library via QR code or URLs posted on signs in buses and at some of the trolley stations. As an MTS passenger, you can download select titles with a library card, and there are also links to titles that are available without a library card. Featured titles will change quarterly to keep you reading while you ride. All transit riders are encouraged to explore the mobile-friendly site, readandridesd.org. Right on your digital device, you can access links to the book selections, book teaser videos, and a schedule of events at libraries available to readers who want to discuss the books they are reading. If you don't already have a library card, which you should, go to your local library and our friendly staff will assist you. As a transit rider, if you mention Read and Ride, you will receive a special item just for coming in. Join the Read and Ride eBook Club and explore the world while you're on your way to your destination. Discover your next chapter today. And now I'd like to thank MTS for their partnership with this innovative program and introduce you to MTS CO Paul Jablonski. Thank you, Misty, and thank you everyone for uh, coming out today. I'd like to thank the library for partnering with MTS to launch this great program. The Read and Ride eBook Club is unique because it's a literacy program geared specifically to transit riders in San Diego. And this is the perfect time to do it. Last year, we carried over 95 million passengers, uh, which translates to well over 300,000 people a day. So when, and it's interesting, when you get on the bus or a trolley these days, it seems like half the people on board are looking at their iPhones, looking at their tablets, uh, or, or reading a book uh, online uh, already with, a, with some kind of device. And we at MTS are as interested, I think, as most businesses in taking advantage of the power of smartphones. We already have an app where you can buy tickets to Chargers games, and we did it a couple of months ago to Comic-Con, and we have a Go app that uh, people can find out their schedule times. So we're very excited about the technology and what it brings uh, to us and to our customers. Uh, but now this program puts great books right in the hands of our riders. And best of all, it's free. As I said before, with nearly three, with over 300,000 passengers a day, we see a lot of value in this partnership. Why? Because it encourages people to read books, which is good in and of itself, gives our riders access to books that they may not otherwise read, and I think it provides opportunities for riders to, to uh, react uh, within, uh, with each other, uh, exchange ideas, whether it's through social media, or it's through library discussion groups. We also like this program because it encourages people to read more, go to their local library, or this beautiful facility. And as you can see right here, we have great service to the front door with the trolley running uh, uh, here right next to uh, the uh, library. I know that Mayor Faulkner is very supportive of the program, and I'd like to thank him for his support of the project and to the library for its hard work to make this happen. So thank you, Misty. I'd also like to introduce another partner, and that's Coca-Cola, for their participation in this program. We have been partners with Coca-Cola for, I believe, 11 years now. Uh, and, and each year, the highlight of that partnership is they give away 40 laptops to uh, high school seniors. Um, so it's a nice gift as a lot of kids are going on to college. And they are excited about, uh, about that commitment, and they are extending their commitment to this program by allocating several thousand dollars uh, to this uh, initiative and uh, in prizes and merchandise to encourage people to participate in the Read and Ride eBook Club. So now I'd like to introduce Joel Jay with Coca-Cola Refreshments of San Diego. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Paul. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, as, as Paul said, my name is Joel Jay and I'm a key account manager for Coca-Cola here in San Diego. And on behalf of Coca-Cola, I'd just like to say thank you for allowing us to be a part of this launch of the Read and Ride eBook Club today. 
Um, as part of its charitable giving program, Coca-Cola is committed to working with local government, non-government, uh, and non-profit entities to support community improvement in four main areas, uh, one of which is education. We've had a long-standing partnership with MTS uh, to help some of these initiatives come to fruition. For the past 11 years, MTS and Coca-Cola have partnered to support many great programs that benefit the greater San Diego community, including the annual Trolley Holiday Entertainment Series, which features live musical performances from Southeast San Diego artists on the MTS Orange Trolley Line, the annual High School Laptop Scholarship Essay, which Paul was talking about before, which provides laptops to 40 deserving high school seniors, and now the Read and Ride eBook Club. And Coca-Cola is a proud to partner with MTS and the San Diego Public Library System to roll out the Read and Ride eBook Club. This program will offer many MTS and library patrons the opportunity to expand their literary background and enjoy a good read while riding the bus or trolley, as well as help foster literacy in the San Diego region. Plus, in keeping with the theme of the first featured book, Maya's Notebook, the first 1,000 patrons to go to any one of the 36 San Diego, uh, City of San Diego library locations and mention Read and Write will receive one of these notebooks courtesy of Coca-Cola. Uh, we look forward to seeing the program's success and encourage San Diegans to take full advantage of this great free resource. And once again, thank you for having us and we hope you enjoy the Read and Write eBook Club. Thank you. Okay, so once again, we encourage everyone to go onto our website, www.readandridesd.org, today to begin checking out our featured books and find out more detail about our first in person ebook club event at the North Claremont Branch Library on October the 8th. Thank you all for coming.